hello everyone welcome back to my channel another day another scholarship today's opportunity is offered by sapi so at sapi they encourage the brightest young talent to join their ever evolving industry sapi awards a number of bursaries each year based on their skills audit and business needs so what this means is that they look at their needs for the year and then they decide which bursaries they're going to offer to students so their bursary scheme is intended to cater for talented and innovative young South African citizen. So if you apply and you meet the minimum criteria, then they invite you for a selection interview. If you are a matriculant or university student and you are between the ages of 18 to 25 years old and you are studying or intending to study one of the following qualifications at a South African accredited university, then you are eligible to apply for the bursary. Please note that this list also includes a national diploma in pulp and paper and a national diploma in forestry. You need to have a South African citizenship. You need to have an average of 70% in mathematics, not mathematics literacy. You need to have 70 to 80% in physical science and 60% in English. And the qualifying points for entrance in the university or acceptance communication so when they say qualify qualifying points to entrance they mean the APS score so you need to have been admitted to one of the qualifications that they listed and then you also need to have an acceptance letter if maybe they've accepted you and then maybe if you are already a student there you also provide them with a registration letter or an academic record this bursary opportunity opens between April and September each and every year and then the recruitment cycle takes place between October and November every year. So make sure that you send your application before the end of September. This bursary will cover your tuition fees, registration fee, books, residence and living allowances. So the total value of the bursary also depends on the household income of the bursar. So when you when you submit your documents, which also includes pay slips of your parents or your guardians, they then look at the income and decide how much they will give you every month as an allowance or towards this whole bursary. Please include the following documents with your application. So they didn't say anything about these copies being certified but just to be on the safe side, rather send copies that are certified. Copy of income just means your guardian or your parents pay slip. If they're not working, then you have to go to the police station and they have to write a, uh, an affidavit um, explaining that they are unemployed or maybe they're working somewhere where they can't get a pay slip. Then they can just go with the employer and write an affidavit. They also say that they give preference to applicants who live in the areas adjacent to their main business operations. So I'll also include their main business operations um, offices or areas in the description box. Then you can just check if maybe you live in that province and then you apply. Shortlisted candidates will be interviewed and asked to complete a psychometric assessment. Please complete all fields on the application to the best of your ability before submitting as the information will also guide their decision. I'm going to include the link to the application and also the contact details in case you are experiencing any difficulties so you contact them for clarity. They will only contact you if you are shortlisted. So if you are not shortlisted and then you don't hear from them, then it means that your application was unsuccessful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up also comment share and subscribe if you know someone who might be interested in studying this qualification please share with them this video so then they can also apply from me i wish you good luck until we meet in the next upload it's bye from me